Hello, everyone. I'm Lisa Amparofsky. I'm the chief of the Division of Infectious Diseases at Albert Einstein College of Medicine and Montefiore Medical Center. And I have the great honor of interviewing my colleague, friend, and faculty member, Teresa Madeline. Thank you, Dr. Porofsky. Uh, so uh, I am the healthcare epidemiologist for Montefiore Health System, which means that I oversee uh, things like infection control, hospital epidemiology, and our outbreak and pandemic response. I'd like to hear from you about um, protocols, about treatment. Um, we started with a disease that no one had heard of, uh, for which there was really no validated treatment. And here we are um, months later, having possibly one treatment, um, at least that has been granted emergency use authorization, and there may be another uh, on the horizon. How, as an academic medical center, um, were we able to kind of um, leverage the expertise and the understanding of people that contribute in different ways to treatment protocols and to reacting to uh, available knowledge about, about this disease? Great question. So we here at uh, Montefiore and Albert Einstein College of Medicine, we have a tremendous uh, infrastructure for research and experts in the field, uh, internationally acclaimed experts uh, in the field of infectious diseases, uh, in pulmonary and critical care and various other areas. And we were very fortunate to be able to leverage that expertise um, in the people who really have that expertise were extremely proactive in getting involved in clinical trials um, and even in examining our own experience um, and talking to colleagues in other countries and other parts of the country uh, to make sure that we had the most up-to-date science and were uh, treating patients according to uh, knowledge as it evolved in the scientific community. So a great example of this is in fact, your own convalescent plasma trial, um, very, very important work based on a, a wealth of knowledge that, that plasma from people who've recovered from an illness can be extremely effective at treating somebody uh, who has a severe case of that illness. And so that um, early on, even in this process, uh, we were able to actually leverage that and to begin a clinical trial, um, particularly because our New Rochelle community in Westchester had an outbreak that just preceded uh, the New York City search. So all of those people were very uh, graciously willing to donate plasma um, for that trial. So that was incredibly valuable and, and successful. Also, we were involved in the remdesivir trial um, very early on. Uh, so Dr. Zingman, um, you know, was the, the PI on that trial. And we were able to really benefit from the knowledge that came from that trial as soon as it became available. Not only did our patients get to benefit for those enrolled in that trial, but the second that that data uh, was uh, shared with other people, we immediately were able to pivot. We pulled together a group um, of experts and we explored all the various pathways that were available to patients to access remdesivir. And we were able to put together a treatment protocol based on the actual science of who benefits, what dose um, is optimal, what duration is optimal. Uh, we took that information and within a matter of days had a, a very extensive protocol that allowed as many patients as possible to benefit from that drug, not only at our medical center um, in the Bronx where the trial had taken place, but we actually shared that resource across our entire health system. Um, so I think that, that being involved in the science um, and really having investigators um, and, and world-class experts really allowed us to be at the forefront of every possible treatment for this disease. And our, pen our patients were able to benefit from that knowledge. Yeah, I mean, it, what you mentioned about the New Rochelle community is so interesting to me because I think one of the phenomena that we all observed firsthand in an extremely heartwarming way was the willingness and the courage of our colleagues, friends, and neighbors to want to do something to help people get better. 